Hey guys, um, before this video starts, I just want to say a few things. I have a Roblox group, um, link is in the description, and I have a Discord server, link is also in the description. Go check it out, uh, we have a bunch of people, uh, we're currently hosting a giveaway, the giveaway might be over, uh, by the time this video's up, uh, it's worth 100 Robux. Um, we got merch in the group store now, so go check it out. And I also want to, now, a lot of YouTubers say this, I know it's annoying, but it's really important. Uh, a lot of people, most of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Now, by the time I'm recording this, or it could change by the time I'm uploading this, but according to my YouTube analytics... Oh, only 3.8% of you guys are subscribed. And 96.2% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy this co my content, then uh, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and let's go on to the video. Sticky Fingers is such a bad stand that it's good. You're probably saying, that doesn't make any sense. And I know, it doesn't. Sticky Fingers has the ability to attach zippers on anything it touches. The thing that doesn't make sense at all is that Sticky Fingers has one of the weakest stands in the game. The stand has an A in destructive power in the anime and manga, yet it does a 1.2 barrage damage at max power nodes. I don't know what Uzu has against the stands like White Album and Sticky Fingers, but it's clearly something. I'm sorry for complaining so much, but this stand could just be so much more. Now let's get on with the Musa. Sorry for the keyboard noises. But the moveset for Sticky Fingers is very simple. It's simple, small, and surprisingly versatile. It can be used in many situations and is very fast paced. The stand is best suited for stuff like boxing and pluck. I personally use boxing because that's what I'm used to and that's what I'm best at. Um, first things first, Sticky Fingers has a very good mo mobility tool. Zipper Glide is very fast, flexible, and short. The direct opposite to White Album's Ice Skate. Here it is in action. Now, you can't go up like walls with this or something, which I wish it could, because it'd be really cool. But unfortunately, you can't. It also has Zipper Punch, which can remove limbs <laughs> and is stacked. If you land three in a, a row, then your opponent is unable to move. Did I mention that this move has an outrageously short cooldown and is unblockable and unparryable? I guess the low damage kind of makes up for it, but it doesn't. Because not only should this move be parryable, but it also has like a 5 second cooldown. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. A 6 second cooldown. That's shorter than a barrage, I think. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, that that's stupidly short and definitely should get nerfed in my opinion. Sticky Fingers uh also has three destructive power nodes. One, two, three, which does uh 1.2 damage barrage. I'll show you right here. Sticky Fingers also has, um, Sticky Fingers also has, uh, one of the longest barrages, not in, uh, duration, but in length, and also, uh, is one of the faster barrages in the game. I think it's one of the fastest, tied with, like, Star Platinum and the world and stuff like that. Um, Sticky Fingers also, so this is Sticky Fingers skill tree, um, has a zipper glide. Um, it's actually kind of expensive for how many stuff there is to get. Um, I mean, it is still cheap. Um, 
it only costs like 46 skill points in total to max it out. Um, but I think this extend arm being five skill points is kind of stupid and should be reduced down to like four skill points. Um, but yeah, that's the skill tree. Uh, oh, and I didn't even showcase this. Uh, extend arm uh, is a grab that pulls your opponent into you. Uh, I think it's it's uh, it's blockable but not parryable. And zipper floor uppercut is a I don't I think it ignores block. I could be wrong, but it also um it's parryable uh, and it tracks the target closest to you. Watch this. So yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. It does as much damage as a uh, zipper punch. Oh, but yeah, that's Sticky Fingers move set. This stand is great for beginners since it's easy to use, has a bread and butter combo, and a low skill ceiling. I'll, be, I'll just be talking about strategies to do in a fight while the footage shows combos. Now, the most important thing to do in a fight is don't fish for zipper punch or zipper floor uppercut. Zipper floor uppercut is really easy to parry, it's really react reactable, and zipper punch, most sticky fingers players try to fish for uh, zipper punch, so don't do that. Now, if you're low or something you need to heal, run away using zipper glide. Of course, people are going to call you a runner, but you got to do you got to do to survive, you know, right? So, the um, to catch runners, sticky fingers is really good for catching runners because zipper glide is a great uh, tool, mobility tool. It's really fast and reliable, and extend arm has a really long range, and it grabs people, it pulls them towards you, and you can land a zipper punch which um makes them it lowers their mobility by a lot so it's really useful it's um it's a bread and butter combo and yeah those are pretty much the most important tips with sticky fingers of course there's other tips like don't barrage first of course you know the regular stuff but uh this video isn't for that this is mainly just for sticky fingers but um let's get on with the conclusion Honestly, Sticky Fingers is really underrated but desperately needs some attention. Now I doubt any mods, devs, community managers, or even Uzu himself will see this, but I have a few changes in mind. 1. Some buffs. Sticky Fingers has an A in destructive power, so I think it's fair to give him a slight damage buff, maybe a 1.3 barrage at the very least, at least more than gold experience, because gold experience has a C in destructive power. But in return to these damage buffs, you should make zipper punch parryable and give it a longer cooldown but it should still ignore block in my opinion and also extend arm should not be a five skill point move that move is not worth five skill points at all that is at most a three skill point move at the most you could also give sticky fingers a new move like a beatdown which i think would be pretty cool now most people would say peshki beatdown to be the beatdown, but I personally think the Seko beatdown should be the beatdown. Now, literally no one talks about that beatdown, but I think it's really cool, and it's not like 500 million minutes on like the new Tusk beatdown. Now, the beatdown should be unlocked at max destructive power, or uh, it, after extend arm, if it will be the Pesky beatdown. Now, a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say the Seko beatdown, so I'll play the clip right here. どこまでも地中を追跡してくるのか。恐ろしい能力だ。だが、分かるのか。俺がどこに向かって走ってるのかを。やはりどうやら分からなかったようだな。ここがどこか。Bro, that Ari Viderci hit different, bro. That was so good. Props to Bruno's voice actor for that one. That was amazing. My second proposal is a rework. 
Sticky Fingers is clearly a very outdated stand. It can't keep up with meta stands such as Star Platinum, GER, or any time stopping stand since it literally has nothing to do against time stop. So you're gonna have to eat a bunch of M1s and if it's against the world over heaven, then maybe a re reality overwrite punch or whatever it's called. Now, of course, Sticky Fingers should keep Barrage and Heavy. But I have some changes to the Extend Arm and the Zipper Punch. Now, ex instead of Extend Arm grabbing and pulling your opponent towards you, it could either stun or knock back and ragdoll like A Bizarre Day. Except it didn't ragdoll, and A Bizarre Day is dead, but... You know, it's, it's still an example. Also, Zipper Punch animation is really weird. And it should be something more like this. Zipper Punch is Sticky Fingers' saving grace from keeping it from completely being irrelevant. But instead of Zipper Punch ragdolling, it could do a little bit of stun instead while still removing limbs. But in return, it does far less damage. Not that it did much damage to begin with anyway, but you know. I personally think Zipper Floor Uppercut is fine the way it is. It's a pretty bad move anyway though, but whatever. And Zipper Glide is a good mobility tool, so nothing much needs change with that. But Sticky Fingers still doesn't really have that much move, so, which is a problem. So maybe it could have a grab, like in the Joji game. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff that could be said, so let me know down in the comments of what I'm potentially missing and what you would change about Sticky Fingers. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, like if you want me to do more stand reviews like this. I really enjoyed making this. Um, join the Discord server, link is in the description. Join the Roblox group, link is also in the description. Buy the merch, um, Roblox merch in the group store. Um, so, thanks for watching, uh, have a wonderful day and night, and goodbye. Hey guys, it's Post Swag editing this, and I forgot to mention where I think Sticky Fingers places on the 1v1 PvP tier list. Now, alone, Sticky Fingers without a spec would probably be like a D tier, but with Sticky Fingers with something like Boxing or Pluck, I think it's a solid B tier. And if you're really good at it, really skilled at it, as most people like to say, if you know how to use it, then it could potentially be A tier, but I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, just wanted to fill you guys in. I don't understand this You're changing, I can't stand it